Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So, let's go. Hello everyone and welcome to MK Channel. Today we are going to talk about IP Adapter because it just pushed a huge update and a lot has changed. I use the model year to see if really we have the same results. You can find all the links in the description below. So let's go! I tried to find a close enough image. A woman with an armor. I don't change anything in prompt. As you can see it worked well. And we have a pretty image. What happens if you want to work on an old workflow with IP adapter? Is that what we gonna see? Let's move on. So, we have this old workflow that is giving red error. Let's see what we have. A workflow with two IP adapter. Here we have two old nodes. So I close the error window. The good news is that the IP adapter advance is a drop in replacement of the red node. Let's load it by search. So there's really not much that you have to do. Just move the pipes from the old to the new. The most of time, we have four pipes, model, IP adapter, image, and clip vision. I do the same for the two IP adapter and check the pipes connections. and delete the old one. Let's choose a checkpoint and check the IP adapter model. We need to load an image for each IP adapter. Two different images to clearly see what's happened. I just drag and drop it. So, I put Dream Shaper 8 as a checkpoint. And now, we can prompt. Oh, there's a lore error. It sends a wrong path. Okay, now it's alright. Here is the result. So, as you can see, it's really not a big issue. And the result it's okay. I could choose another checkpoint for better results. Maybe a SDXL1. With a bigger resolution. So now. Let's start from the basic stuff and load an IP adapter. Double click and search by tipping IP adapter. Then double click again and search for unified loader. After that, we join or connect the nodes And of course, we meet an image. Let's put it here and drag one. The beauty women. Choose the right model IP and checkpoint. So, we can go. It takes a bit while. And boom, that's work good. We can see that IP adapter is a powerful node.
here. The unified loader has an additional input here. You never connect the first input of this node. It's used to daisy chain multiple IP adapter. Like this. Because, if later you need a plus space model, you can connect one IP to the other. So all the models that are loaded here are shared in this second loader. This is very important. Because if you don't do that, you have a second unified loader that is going to reload all the models even those that are already loaded from the first one. So, let's now see the advanced IP adapter node and work on it. So load it by searching, or as you want, and connect it like I do. I adjust the position. There is also an important thing to know. If, if you use the unified loader, you don't need to connect the clip vision input. This input is optional, and it is used only if you the IP adapter model loader. So, let's simulate this. We load an IP adapter model loader. Not the unified, but the legacy one. You can connect it directly to the IP adapter advanced. At this point you have to load the clip vision by yourself. And you have to understand that you have to know which model is needed for the which clip vision model is needed for the IP adapter. So, now that we have the basic IP adapter workflow work, let's talk about wake type. By default is linear. And, first of all, I will generate an image for everyone and put the next to compare. Then, I'm going to explain these features in detail. I hope it will be clear because we have cryptic name for each one. So, all right, here I put the weight type with name and generated image. I put the weight at one for all of them. So, let's put the origin image beside here. I try to adjust the size. So, this linear. How it works? The image generation is divided as you know in steps. Let's say three big steps. Input, middle and output. So what weight type does work? Linear means that your weight is applied linearly to all the blocks during the generation. It means that in the beginning it will be one, in the second step, it will be one, and one till the end. So, ease in, means that the weight is applied more at the beginning and less at the end. Ease out. It is the other way. Around at the beginning, it will be applied more at the end than at the beginning. So, ease out. It will be applied more at the end than at the beginning. You can see that on the application of the end of prompt. So, I hope it's clear.
Ease and ease out it means that we are applying at the beginning and at the end, but less in the middle. Reverse and out means that we are applying more in the middle than at the end. All these kind of this way types are very important because IP adapter, especially the plus version, is very strong. So now, for style transferred SDXL, it can basically take only the basic style of the picture, and then the composition will be completely free and will be completely guided by the prompt. So, this is what I have for my first test. So as you can see, it's exactly what I prompt. And it really takes the look and feel the colors of the picture, but not the, the content. You can play with other images and prompt to see what happened. And test also with vertical image size. I play with weight type. But since we are applying the IP adapter only to a portion of the unit, we can increase the weight and usually we get closer and closer to the reference image. The result is better with square image and SDXL mode. So, let's put a vertical image. Here, IP adapter detect that the image is not a square image and try to resize the image in the middle. I adjust the resolution on 1024 for the output. The style is always completely guided by the prompt. And the composition is completely free. So now let's do the same with a square image. I choose this colorful background. To see, it really takes the look and feel the colors of the picture. So, it's take a time. The IP adapter are very powerful models for image to image conditioning. And in this version, you can also use an image for negative input. The subject or even just the style of the reference images can be easily transferred to a generation. Added composition only transfer weight type for SDXL and added style transfer weight type for SDXL. So, this video covered the most important IP adapter functionalities and important updates. You can now play with the parameters and images to a better understanding. So, have fun with it and see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So, Keep in touch.